Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Gem Live, and welcome back to another video. And before we start today's video, I just want to give a quick update with the channel. I'm going to be on a posting schedule now. I'm going to try and post every Monday and Thursday. Obviously, this is today's Monday video. I'm going to try and do that for as long as I can. Alright, so without further ado, you can already tell from the title of the video, we're going to be looking at Saquon Barkley's high school highlights. So let's jump straight into that. And yes, this isn't a different Saquon Barkley, this is the same Saquon Barkley that's famous and that everyone knows. And he just got selected second overall in this year's 2018 NFL Draft. But we were throwing it all the way back to his high school days at Whitehall High School in Pennsylvania. And so, everyone knows Saquon Barkley is the Penn State phenom that absolutely tore it up this year. The Heisman runner-up. Had absolutely insane numbers, but we're going to be looking at his high school days because I don't think a lot of people have seen it, or this was before he was famous. Um, and so, his senior season, he rushed for 800 or 1,851 yards, and that's 8.6 yards a carry. And like, what this video doesn't show you is like, obviously while I'm talking, you're going to be looking at all these ridiculous runs and ridiculous catches and just like insane feats of athleticism, but what it doesn't show you is like carry after carry after carry it's 8.6 yards which is almost a first down this guy runs so hard and I like I've had the um, privilege of like going against like top tier teams like I've gone against a team that had over 14 division one players and just trying to tackle them or just like getting hit by them you just feel like shit the next morning and so I just like what this video doesn't show you is just every single carry he is like a workhorse and just grinding for every single yard and so, as you can already tell from this highlight, he is an insane athlete, like a once-in-a-generation type athlete. He just competed at the NFL Combine and put up insane numbers. One second, as the video. All right, perfect. Well, there's an ad for this video, so. All right, I'm gonna pause, so it might be slightly off during it. Okay, cool, we're back. But yeah, so at the NFL Combine, he put up insane numbers. He ran a 4-4 flat 40. He had a 41-inch vertical. And he had 30 bench reps of 225. And that's like combine numbers, like that's like linebacker, lineman with cornerback speed. Like it's literally insane how he's doing all of this. Uh, and other impressive weightlifting attributes he has. He has the Penn State record for power cleans. He did a 405 power clean. And that's just not like a running back record. This is like all time. Like he took it from a lineman from a few years ago. So it's absolutely insane how strong he is and to run this fast. And uh, so there was a lot of controversy with Saquon Barkley in this year's draft because they're saying like, oh, running backs like a dying position in the NFL. Like it's not as important. Uh, you shouldn't waste a running back with a first round pick, nonetheless a top five pick. But like time and time again, like people keep proving this wrong. Like Zeke Elliott, Leonard Fournette, Todd Gurley, like these backs like are having like contributions, contributions that like other players aren't, or they're not expecting them. And time and time again, people are like, oh, you shouldn't draft a running back this early. But they keep like being the main focus of their uh, offense, especially someone like Saquon Barkley, who's like a do it all back. So he kind of reminds me a lot of like Le'Veon Bell. I know I give my comparisons at the end, but uh, like he reminds me of like a Le'Veon Bell because I see him using Saquon. He's a great receiver. He has great hands, runs great routes, and he's a uh, every down back. He's going to be their first, second, third down, and he's just going to be doing, oh, playing a little defense too. I don't know if this video, since there was the ad, I'm probably going to be off with the highlight but see like he has great hands like that's just not what you see from running backs very much <clears throat> and I, I usually take the music out when uh, I play these videos but it's kind of funny because I'm listening to it right now and it's the uh, the, <laughs> the music for this video is the iDubs content cop and it's kind of funny so I might actually keep this in there but yeah so uh, a fun fact about Saquon Barkley is growing up his favorite player was Barry Sanders. And so then this kind of shows and so I know all about Barry Sanders. I'm from Michigan, live in Michigan, and the Lions haven't had a good football team since the 80s when Barry was here. So like every Lions game you go to, you walk down the streets of Detroit, you're still going to see people in Barry Sanders jerseys. And so it's actually cool. Oh, that's the end of the video. 
And so I think it's really cool that uh, Saquon's favorite player is Barry Sanders, and it really shows in his game. Like, you can just, like, tell he's just been, like, a student of the game. He's been trying to learn. He has, like, the vision. I don't know how he got that from Barry Sanders, but he's not afraid to, like, plant his foot, cut all the way back the field. He just, like, focuses on his vision and his cuts, and I really like that uh, – He's trying to like model Barry Sanders because he's doing a good job. And I like I won't already compare him or like put him on the level of greatness that Barry Sanders is because he's like in my opinion might be a little biased, but I think he's the best running back of all time. But I think with Saquon, he has a lot of potential to do some of the things that Barry does, or at least he shows glimpses of it. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be the video. And oh, one more thing I wanted to say in this, like you can just like tell from Saquon's work ethic because in this video. He was 5'11", 190 pounds. And just after two years at Penn State, he was 5'11", 230. And he put on 40 pounds of muscle. And that is not easy. That's a guy that's eating eight meals a day, working out three, four times a day. And so I just like, I love this guy. I love that he got drafted by the Giants. I love, I can't wait to see who he, what he does with Eli Manning, with Odell Beckham. This offense is going to be so much fun to watch. And as the NFL season comes out, I'm going to probably be posting more NFL videos. Um... But I'm, I'm just super excited about Saquon, and I can't wait to see where it goes. And so that's going to be today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. But I think Thursday I'm going to check out a basketball video. I've been kind of wanting to do, a, uh, do one for a while. And so I think that's going to be next, or Thursday's video because now posting schedule. All right, thank you guys for checking in, and you guys can take it easy, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!